Welcome back to Ozarks Fox AM. Today I'm going to show you how to make some fingerless gloves. Take a look at these. Aren't these cute? Now these are made of fleece, Jeremy, and I made these last year, and I just wear them a lot. They're super comfortable. I like the idea of having my fingers out so that I can do things. And use your smartphone. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> That's what I thought. That of. is true. Okay, so it's really easy to make this pattern. When this I read it in the script this morning, Kelly, you know what I thought you were doing? What? I thought you bought gloves and just cut the fingers. Well, that's an easy. Thought, that's, that's a super. That's where my brain went. Why didn't I think of that? Why that's didn't I think of that? That no, is that's so easy. This is better, but I just thinking, oh, cut oh, the fingers just off. and then just just hem them and then decorate them, right? <laughs> I don't okay. know why I thought that. I don't. <laughs> All know. right. So what you're going to need for this project is a piece of paper and a pen, fleece material or an old sweater. You're going to need scissors, a needle and thread, and for some of this you will need to sew a little bit. Um, you're okay. I think okay. that's about everything. Okay. So I'm going to trace your hand. Okay. This is how Does it matter do which it. hand? No, you just, uh, maybe, okay. Wait, or this hand? Well, just because your watch is going to make okay, it bump yes. up a make little bit. Bump. Okay. Now, I'm going to show you how to do this. Move this up a little further. Okay. Now, kind of put your fingers together. Together, okay. All right. Okay. Can we see this, what we're doing? We're going to take it from the knuckle here by the pinky. Okay. And we're going to take it over here by the pointer finger at the knuckle. And we're going to go straight down, trace down, and trace this down. This reminds me of kindergarten. Yeah, I know. And then you're going to go into the wrist, down like that. And then here you're going to take it from about the middle of the joint of the thumb, and you're going to trace it down. Does um, okay. So these are specific for your hand. For then. your hand, yeah. yeah this so is this is just here's for what your it looks hand. Like. That's All what right. You so did. what we're going to do is fill fill this in. Okay. All right. And now we're going to draw a line. You can use a ruler or you can just freehand it. We're going to draw a line from here over to here and just scoop this out. A little bit for your thumb. Okay. okay. So now, that's pretty easy. That is very easy. Now, what you're going to do is put a half inch on it for a, a hemline. Okay, so you have to make it bigger then. Yeah, you got to make it bigger for your hemline around, and you just kind of retrace what you did. All right, so that's what you have. I got you. That's what you cut out, okay? okay? And this is what we have here. Now, you're going to do two of these, obviously. You'll cut this out on. This way, let's see. You got to make sure you've got the stretch going the right way, where it's going to stretch okay, your hand. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're going to cut one here, pin it on with. Do you remember this little thing that I made? One of my pins. Oh yeah. Isn't it cute? Little like pin the cushion there. Yeah, I do too. So you pin it on, and then you cut it out. Okay. And then you do the same for the now, other side. Now, did you double up the fabric so you have two? Is that well, what you two, did? you're going to sew them together. Oh, you sew them together. Yeah, so, so would you repeat this then for the other hand? You would flip it over okay, and repeat I gotcha. it for the other hand. This is going to look like this. All right? Here it is. Now, let me show you what you do. You, this is your top, so you're going to leave that open. Obviously, you're going to sew down this side. You're going to sew down this side. And then you've got a little portion here you're going to sew, but you're going to leave this. This is your thumb. You're going to leave it open. Okay. All right. So you you turn uh, you sew it, then you turn them right side out, and it's going to look like this. Only you have to decorate it still. I gotcha. All right. Isn't that cute? And then you just hem the thumb portion and the bottom, and then you add whatever decor you would like to. So I only did one, and I want to show you. I did this other in a sweater little fabric, and it, it really turned out adorable, actually. Um, I I got the uh, the wrist extremely small, as you can see. Well, it's tight. But check that out. Isn't that so cute? Mm -hmm. I really like that one. And let me just tell you, I used the bottom of the sweater up here so you didn't have to, I don't have to hem it. I don't oh, have to do anything. Oh, good idea. That anything is Anything with that. Now, if you like this project and you want to go even easier, it's a super, super easy way to go, is buy a sweater, mm -hmm. cut the sleeve off. Oh, yeah. Put it on your hand and... This fabric wasn't the best, so I put a little elastic up here. But if the sweater is tight to your hand, yeah, all you got to do is take a needle and thread and whip stitch right here, right here, and then you've got it. That's that's super easy. And then you can decorate however you'd like with this or whatever you make sure happy. You know, Kelly, I actually have a hoodie, and in the wristband there's a hole in it, so I put my thumb through the hole. And it does this exact same. It was accidental, though. Absolutely. It was accidental, but I do that sometimes so I can use my hands, but I'm still staying yeah, warm. Yeah, isn't that with great? My hoodie. Isn't that great? But so there's a guy's alternative for you. There is, but how easy is, is this? Is that great? That's so easy. So if you're looking to make a really easy project with your grandkids or just for yourself or maybe, uh, you know, somebody that you love, yeah. it's, a good, it's a good Christmas gift next year. It's a good birthday gift. A Mother's Day is coming up. So, yeah. Oh, that's a good idea. And I don't sew, so I'll have to make You could you, do this. I'll, I could do that All one. you do is whip stitch right here. I could do that here. one then. And, I just don't want to use the machine. And if you get the right sweater, you won't have to put any elastic in here. Yes, okay? I love it. All right, and that's my pin. So it's super easy. Give it a try.